The question here is the angle of elevation of an aeroplane from a point on the ground is 45 degrees. After 15 seconds flight, the elevation changes to 30 degrees. If the aeroplane is flying at a height of 3000 meters, then the approximate speed of the plane in kilometers per hour is dash. Options as you can see, 304.32, 152.16, 527 and 263.5. So let's try it out. Now, this is the ground level as usual, right? So from a point on the ground, let's say this is the point from where you're observing the aeroplane. Now, it says initially the angle of elevation of the aeroplane from a point on the ground. The point on the ground is P. The angle of elevation is 45 degrees. So let's say here is the aeroplane, right? I'll say flight, let's say flight F. Now, if you observe, this height is given to us. It said the aeroplane is flying at a height of 3000 meters. So I can say this is, let's say, point, uh, you know, G. So what is FG? FG will be equal to 3000 because height at which the aeroplane is flying is 3000, right? So the angle of elevation from point P to F is 45 degrees. So this angle is 45 degrees. Are you able to follow? Now what he says, after 15 seconds flight, that means this, this aeroplane is flying. It's flying in this direction, let's say, right? After 15 seconds flight, so aeroplane will move. If it is flying, it is moving, right? It is moving like this, let's say. So after 15 seconds of flight, let us assume that it comes to this point. This is the new point F dash. This is a new position of the aeroplane, right? I mean, it has, it has moved from one point to the other point. Remember, the height will remain the same. If you see F dash G dash will also be 3000 is equal to F dash G dash. Yes or no? The height will not change. The height remains G dash. But what will change? The angle of elevation. He says the elevation changes to 30 degrees. Right? So now from point P, if you observe, from point P to point F dash, the angle of elevation is 30 degrees. Earlier it was 45 degrees. Now it is 30 degrees. Let me just put it a little clearly. Initial angle is 45 degrees and now it is 30 degrees. So this is 45 degrees. Total angle is 45 degrees. And this new angle is 30 degrees. Are you able to follow? See again, how do you know that the aeroplane is flying in that direction? See, all these points matter. How do you know that the aeroplane is flying towards right? Why can't you take aeroplane flying towards left? The point is angles of elevation again. You know that when you are closer to the object, elevation is more. Initial elevation was 45 degrees. New elevation is just 30 degrees. That means the plane has moved away from the point of observation. Initially, this is the point of observation. Angle of elevation is 45. So this is the point. After that, the angle of elevation is 30. Angle of elevation is less. That means the distance is more. You're able to follow. You are getting the point. F to F dash. What does it mean? The plane has moved away from the point of observation P. That is the reason the angle of elevation has come down. If it comes closer, let's say if it is moving in this direction, then what happens? The plane would come closer to point P. And when the plane comes closer to point P, the angle of elevation would increase. But it is not increased, it has decreased here, 45 to 30. So keep that in mind. That's it. I think we are done. Two triangles, find out the answer. So let's consider the triangle P, G, F. What do we get? Tan 45. I can actually write one directly, but maybe when you refer in future, you may not be able to follow. So I'm putting it in detail here, right? Tan 45. While solving the exam, you should directly write one. Tan 45 is equal to FG. How much is FG? 3000. 3000 by, let us say this distance is D. P to G. P to G, the distance is D. Right? And G to G dash. Let's say the distance is D dash. So 3000 by D, which implies D is equal to 3000. Yes or no? Because tan 45 is 1, d is equal to 3000. This is equation number 1, I would say. Consider the second triangle, P F dash G dash or P G dash F dash. Here, we'll say tan 30 degrees is equal to what? Again, the opposite side. Opposite side will remain 3000. Height of the plane always remains same. 3000 is flying at a height of 3000 meters. Divided by the uh, adjacent side. What is the adjacent side now? D plus D dash. D plus D dash. What is tan 30, by the way? Tan 30 is 1 by root 3. So 1 by root 3 is equal to 3000 divided by, see, look at this D. D we already know is 3000. Or, or let me take it as D plus D dash, right? Simplify this, what happens? We'll get D plus D dash is equal to 3000 
into root 3, which implies d dash will be how much? See, d dash is 3000 root 3 minus d. d is again 3000. Right? So if I take 3000 common, you can say this will be root 3 minus 1. Uh, I hope you're getting the point. I've, I've skipped one step there, but hope you're able to follow. We are substituting d is equal to 3000 in, in this place. Okay, substitute d equals to 3000 here. So 3000 plus d dash is equal to 3000 root 3. So d dash will be 3000 root 3 minus 3000. Taking 3000 common, we get 3000 into root 3 minus 1. Now, what is he asking us to find out? The aeroplane is flying at height of. Now, understand this aeroplane has moved from which point? From point f to f dash. In how many seconds? 15 seconds. It took a 15 seconds span to move from f to f dash. And how much distance has been covered? See, f to f dash is equal to d dash. Whatever is the distance f to f dash is nothing but g to g dash, right? Remember, f f dash will be equal to g g dash, which is equal to d dash. Now, we already calculated d dash, which is 3000 into root 3 minus 1. Now, he's asking us to find out speed, right? So, let me do that part, right? So far, what you're doing is height and distance. Now, look at the speed. What is speed? Speed is equal to distance by time. Yes or no? Find the approximate speed of the plane. Speed is equal to distance by time. How much distance has the plane covered? D dash. The distance is 3000 into root 3 minus 1. Divided by time, how many seconds? 15 seconds. Speed is equal to distance by time. So, right? Distance is 3000 into root 3 minus 1 divided by 15 seconds. But remember, here the speed will be in meters per second. Meters per second. We want the speed to be in kilometers per hour. Right? So, how do you convert meters per second to kilometers per hour? Multiply by 18 by 5. Right, so multiply by 18 by 5. That will be the final answer. Simplify this to get the final answer. Now I'll do an approximate calculation here. Anyway, approximate calculation is needed. See, 15 goes how many times in 3000? 15 goes 200 times, right? So this is 200. Are you able to follow? And uh, 5 goes how many times in 200? 40 times. So this is 40, I would say. 40 into 18. How much is 40 into 18? Are you able to follow? 40 into 18. 400 plus 320, 720. 720 into root 3 minus 1, right? I'm, I'm doing that rough. 15 into 5 is 75. So 3000 divided by 75 came out to be 40. 40 into root 3 minus 1. 40 into, sorry, 40 into root 3 minus 1 into 18, right? So 18 into 40 is uh, 720 into root 3 minus 1. Root 3 is 1.7. 1.7 minus 1, 0 0.7. 720 into 0.7. Will 720 into 0 0.7 be 304? See, 720 into 0 0.5 itself is 360. 720 into 0 0.5, that means 720 into half is 360. So 720 into 0.7 should be more than 360. Just that will help us eliminate three of the options. Option 3, 5, 27 has to be the answer. So it is very important uh, the way you look at the numbers, right? If you start doing 720 into 0 0.7 on paper, or maybe 17 to 72 into 7, then you will end up wasting your time there. The point is 720 into half is 360. Half of 720 is 360. Here it is more than half. So more than 360. Only one option is more than 360. So 527 would be the answer for this question.